Right, so today's video is all about the women's hour record, which is broken. And now this attempt, I reckon, is one of the most exciting ones because it's not done by a trade team. It's done by an individual. So this is Vittoria Busi. She had the record before. I believe it was about 49, uh, sorry, 47 and a bit. She beat Joss Loudon. Um, however, Anne Van Dyke did 49.2 back in the day. Yeah, sorry, the, her previous record was 48. So she's actually come a long way. She gained two kilometers an hour, which is pretty wild. Um, but what I really want to talk about, I don't think there's any power there. If there is, then let me know. I couldn't see anything. Um, is the setup. So first of all, we always have the Hope track bike. Now, this is the older Hope track bike. Nonetheless, though, I think a decent frame, uh, uh, just the way it's kind of set up with these forks, supposed to go in front of the legs. People are copying it. I mean, obviously, I'm an armchair. I have zero clue. But when people start doing similar stuff, you're like, maybe there's a reason for that. So I think that's quite good. Um, like the frame is obviously not slow uh, at the back. Again, I don't really understand why the seat stays here, not there, but apparently, I guess it's behind the legs, so maybe that makes more sense. Uh, but anyway, the discs are both Hope. Um, it's kind of Hope Lotus, but mainly Hope because they did the manufacturing. Lotus help with the designing. Position-wise, obviously a head down position on the track is fine. Um, interesting, she chose the Jira Arrowhead. Uh, it doesn't have the vents. It's like the ultimate one. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Um, but yeah, Again, not uh, the most common helmet to use in the track. Obviously, the French national team do use it, but not one that you'd necessarily think, uh, you know, everyone uses in this position, though. It looks okay. Okay, it's not it's not perfect with her arms, um, but nonetheless, I think I think it's a decent position. You can see here, she's got digirit, sing, uh, obviously, single ring, digirit, chain ring, um, which looks pretty big. It's really hard to tell. I reckon it's at least a 62, could be 64, um, and then obviously, that's going to be a wax chain for sure. Um, you can look at the Hope bike here. It's kind of interesting because at the back, it doesn't really look that like modern. Um, it looks kind of like old almost. It looks like it's welded in some ways, like especially this bit at the end, the seat stays. Uh, but I, I do think it is a pretty nice frame. Um, the extensions are really hard to see. I, I'm trying to see if I can got, get a better picture. But I think all the pictures that I could see everywhere were basically just from her um, from her Instagram. So it was really, actually, I couldn't really see exactly what they were. I thought at first they were like, um, sorry, I thought at first that they could just be the Hope ones. And I think maybe they are. Um, Carbon Wasp is also another potential. But I think what's interesting is kind of like the other equipment choices. Um, so she looks like she's on speed play pedals, which is, again, not too standard. Overshoes, hard to tell exactly. And it's really, again, it's the kit, um, which is like how that interacts is something that I assume she would have done some testing. Valve covers though, you can still see just using some tape. So not 100% crazy uh pretty low profile skewers um which again i think is something on the track maybe they were neglecting a bit more um but overall i think it's a pretty pretty impressive ride from her and i think what it goes to show is that Anna van dyke i assume must have more power like considering she's full-time uh bike rider um but vittoria Busi clearly is doing some other stuff with the aerodynamics um she was in aguas calientes which again helps if you can if you can do the power at altitude aguas calientes helps big time um we can read this article here she helped over 12k. She's a mathematician, so she's doing some some calculations. But at the end of the day, it's kind of like um that's it's it's quite expected. There's some more pictures here as well of like her bike and her setup. Again, it's got like the the bar the bar ends or something like so she can hook her hands on. Um, again, I assume she was in I was kind of calientes with some part. Um, a few days ago, a dear person that I hadn't heard for regular news uh, is kind of irrelevant. But again, you can see here, it's like, again, the position is, is actually quite upright, really. Uh, it's not mega low, which is interesting again. Um, but yeah, anyway, I think a pretty good attempt from her. Tires, I assume, was coarser speeds. So if you're not running those, you are a clown. Um, but yeah, anyway, I hope you kind of did enjoy this video. I think it's interesting to see what you what people pick when it comes to their own. Oh, so finally, saddle, mental. She's on some physique time trial saddle. I didn't even know they made those anymore. I thought they were like banned because they were so uncomfortable, but apparently she's a fan, so she's on it. Uh, but yeah, again, interesting to see. But yeah, it's just like, wh what do you choose when you uh, can kind of choose whatever you want? Digirit, Hope. Uh, they look like normal Hope extensions, maybe. They, they could be someone else. It could be Carbon Wasp, it could be Most. It's really hard to tell with those um but yeah again like overshoes not really going to the max um but anyway i hope you enjoy this video uh cheers for watching i'll see you in the next one